A template usually begins with an HTML and a CSS pair of files. We're going to split our CSS into two files for now. A CSS to specify the layout of the page. This specifies the shape of the page, the parts of the page and where the parts go. And it also specifies the overall styles for parts. And we'll have a second CSS to specify font and rendering styles of other components. That is what text, headings, links and tables and so on will look like. In a new code pane in Bluefish, paste the snippet project CSS alpha CRM underscore style and save this file in the CSS folder of your project. As you can see, this is a simple CSS file that specifies the same styles as we had before in previous lessons. What the body will look like, what it will look like when we hover over a link, and so on. Similarly, open a new code pane and paste the other CSS file, alpha CRM underscore layout, and save the file in the same way with the file name alpha CRM underscore layout dot CSS again in the CSS folder. This CSS file defines the layout of the page, and we'll see shortly how it's delivered via the HTML file. You can close both of those because we're done with them for now. And in a new code pane, load the snippet project index index PHP 0901. And this is a totally, entirely new index.php file, and we're going to build it up from scratch. It's going to seem fairly familiar because we're only going to build it from pieces we've already used before. But for now, save this in the root directory in htdocs as index.php and overwrite the file. In this form, it does nothing at all, but it simply shows you that there is a PHP component at the top to process any PHP code before we do any rendering. That's so we can use the header construct if we need to. Then there's the usual HTML headers and an HTML body and terminated of course with the HTML close tag. Once again we have simply some comments, some HTML comments and a PHP comment in the body of the page. And in the header, apart from the headers, will be the link to our CSS files that we need to use. In place of the comment in the PHP section at the top, delete that and paste the next snippet, documentation connection trap and the connection script. And that's completely familiar as before. We simply have our connection script and we have a connection trap and that's just pasted in above the HTML headers section and we can save that. It still won't do anything other than connect to the database. In place of our HTML comment there in the header section, paste the snippet HTML headers. And again, this simply pastes in the piece of HTML header code that we had before with a title, some other headers, and the links to the two style sheets that we've just created. In the body of this index page, paste the HTML layout. This uses the styles that we created in the layout page to set out four pieces of page. Inside an outer wrapper, we have a header. Underneath that, we have an inner wrapper, and below that, a footer. So three pieces of page, or three sections to the page, three divs to the page, but the inner wrapper is comprised of a menu column on the left-hand side and a content column to the right. So we have four pieces of page or four divs, a header, two side by side, menu column and a content column and a footer. Let's save that and see now what our page is going to look like when we open up the home page in our browser. And all this does is render exactly what we've done in the code, a header and a footer and two pieces of page, two divs side by side in the main page. Of course, we've lost all our menus and so on. So let's set about placing them in our new template structure. The point here is that every so-called page is actually going to be a programmatically controlled different rendering of this one page, the index page. 
Whenever we want to display something, we'll send a query string to the index page, which will tell it which include files and which PHP processing files to load. Then, when we change anything in the CSS files, or even change the CSS files themselves, the layout or the style, the changes will be reflected in every page rendering of this one page index.php.